For Dangote Cement's 13th annual general meeting, which held in Lagos on Tuesday, went into full swing as directors, shareholders and staff converged to conduct the day's proceedings. To lay the audited financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2021 and the report of directors, auditors and the audit committee thereon to declare dividend, to elect and re-elect directors, to authorize directors to fix the remuneration of the audit auditors, to elect shareholders representative of the statutory audit committee, to disclose the remuneration of managers, special business, to fix the remuneration of directors, to consider an if thought fit, pass the following resolution as special resolution. Other agenda points included share capital declaration, future AGM processes and dividend payment guidelines amongst others. I have only three items. In line with standard procedure, director, audit and statutory audit committee reports were shared. We have obtained all the information and explanations which to the best of our knowledge and belief we are necessary for the purpose of the audit. In our opinion, proper books of accounts have been kept by the company so far as appears from my examination of those books. The company's statement of financial position, statement of profit or loss, and statement of comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of account. We have exercised our statutory functions under Section 4047 of the Companies and Allied, Allied Matters Act, 2020, and we acknowledge the cooperation of the board, management, and staff of the in the conduct of these responsibilities. After a careful consideration of the report of the external auditors, we accepted the report that the financial statement gave a true and fair view of the state of the group and company's financial affairs as at the 31st December 2021. Having emerged as the best performing stock of the year 2021 by the Nigeria Exchange Group is just one of many promising indications of a new financial cycle ahead for the company. The expectation is that uh, we are, you know, pushing and we hope we'll do much better than uh, the previous year. Uh, even though, you know, the inflation has begun very, very high, uh, you know, cost of production and other things have actually also gone very high. But we believe will still come out, uh, you know, much uh, stronger than the previous year, you know, and that's, uh, you know, our wish. And I'm sure the shareholders should be rest assured they will get their normal or maybe higher, you know, bonus. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll continue to strive and make sure that, you know, we come out as the best. We are doing quite a lot in terms of the alternative uh, energy. Number one, some of our you know uh, trucks we are converting some of them to use partially uh, gas and uh, diesel. So we reduce the consumption of diesel. We are using a lot of alternative uh, fuel. You know, in almost all our plants across, it's going to take a little bit of time, but that will also help us to reduce cost. And uh, there are quite a lot of other things which we are doing to make sure that we reduce the cost of uh, energy. You know, cement production, you know, uh, you use a lot of energy in terms of producing cement. So these are the areas that we are looking at. The topic of gender representation and diversity was also a highlight at the meeting following the appointment of Halima Aliko Dangote to the company's board. Dangote Cement is... PLC is a company that is focused on uh, diversity. I was the first female to be appointed to this board and today we have like five of us. I was appointed in 2016 and in a space of about five years we have five you know, women on the board which signifies where the board is going to as far as diversity is concerned. And today you witness the admission of Alima Aliko Dangote to the board and what that saying we are very you know gender sensitive and women are indeed asking for a space on the table in these boards and I would tell you that we're very delighted that Alima has been appointed today to the board she's been appointed on the merit 
not because she is the daughter of Alaja Liko Dangote. We've watched her over time and we are very, very confident that she'll add value to the board. So I'm very happy today to, you know, and we look forward to working with her as a non-executive director. It has been a very good and successful year with 364 billion naira profit after tax. That has gone 32% higher than the previous year. And uh, there is no company in Nigeria that has done this um, outfit. And uh, again, you can see the corporate governance. We are having 27% uh, of the directors as females. And that is what um, the uh, regulatory uh, requirement uh, is. At least we should have 30%. Um, they have brought uh, Halima Namgote uh, on board. And uh, I think this is very good for the succession planning of the company. Um, I look forward to a day when a woman will be heading uh, the Dangote organization. Abby Awolawi for Rise News.